All right. Well, we've got a lot of news to get to, and there's uh, there's some breaking news, something that just happened the day before we filmed this, another big Apple announcement. Didn't we just have an Apple announcement? You yeah. mean the 14 yeah. zero days they've been having? So, well, there's that <laughs> announcement that they don't bring the PR team out. No, they right. just, let, uh, let me read the headline here for this one. This one's from ArsTechnica.com. Uh, Apple intros 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pros with display notches, M1 Pro, and M1 Max. Display notches, that, that one's not a feature. You know, so, well, they they position it that way, uh, as Apple tends to do with things like, "Hey, our laptop doesn't have a touchscreen. Yeah. That's that's a feature, yeah, like yeah. fingerprint free screen." <laughs> do you hate touchscreens? Yeah. We've upgraded yeah. our laptop to have less touchscreen than any other. I like, I like how Don gets around that by just getting the iPad Pro and the uh, keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, look at that touchscreen iPad, iPad yeah. baby. I fixed I, it. I, yeah, <laughs> right, I so did the, the thing you should be doing. The last <laughs> announcement was about watches and devices yeah. and things, and this one is about computers and uh, new computers on the the Mac or on the Apple Silicon. So what do we got here, Don? Well, so the, the reason they spread these announcements out is one, it's a lot of new stuff, right? So they did announce several new things. But the other reason is this week they're announcing new Android phones. Uh, that's going to happen, uh, I believe, today, if you're listening to this the day it releases. Uh, so Apple needs to get a little bit of PR. So that, that's why they spread this out is to overlap with other people's events. Uh, but the big part of the event yesterday was their new laptops, right? They, they announced some new AirPods and HomePods and junk that people don't use. Uh, but the, the new MacBooks are kind of the big deal. And there have been a ton of rumors that I'll say I did not believe, but darned if they weren't all pretty spot on. Uh, so the new MacBooks are really interesting because in the past, they always tout new features like, hey, we've got Thunderbolt 4 or this new resolution on the screen and so on. But this time, it was the most bizarre announcement ever. And, you know, let, let's, let's pretend here for a moment, because uh, did either of you watch the Apple event? I did not. No. Okay. So, <laughs> That's a, is that a rhetorical question? I, <laughs> I did watch it. Uh, and, I, and I'll tell you, I'm, I am using my iPad today, but normally I'm on my Lenovo laptop. So I'm, you know, fairly uh, vendor agnostic. brand neutral. Yeah. yeah, vendor agnostic. But if we just dropped the Apple name and pretended like this was an announcement from another vendor, like let's say this is a Lenovo announcement, okay? okay? You are going to be so excited by our new Lenovo, the, the best Lenovo laptop that's ever been manufactured. I just got chills. Better than any other Lenovo. Ooh. And let me tell you some of the features. We've added an HDMI port to our laptop. <laughs> Brace yourself. Oh, what? man. And I'm not talking about a micro HDMI or mini. It's a full-size HDMI port ready to plug into your latest and greatest Don, technology Don, devices. I, I wish I would have worn my helmet because you just blew my mind. Yeah, amazing. And <laughs> Oh, it doesn't stop there. On this latest, newest L Lenovo. I've only got one more sound effect. So. <laughs> A memory card slot. Ooh. You can plug an SD card in the side. You spoil me, sir. Uh, hey, if you are cutting edge, do you have a digital camera? Oh, uh, yeah, I do, actually. How, how in the past have you possibly ever been able to read pictures off of that? Well, I, I haven't. I've just had to look at it in the camera. Throw yeah. it away. Yeah, yeah it's I'm awkward, you, isn't it? Throw it away. Yeah. Uh, but now we have an SD card side in. And you know what? We had a power adapter in our Lenovo's five, seven years ago hmm. that people really liked that we got rid of. Well, you know what? We're bringing it back. Oh, no, you're not. We're bringing it back. The, oh. The, the, the magnet one? Yeah. And the, so if we you. We talked about that last week. Yeah, we did. Yeah. So anyhow, from any other vendor, it's the most ridiculous, dumbest presentation on the planet. But from Apple, it's amazing. So you, the, you know what it is? Is that every company, every other company started kind of like going the way of Apple because, you know, oh, we got to follow Apple. They're the trend maker. And they went, ah, oh, crap. Everybody's starting to be like us. What can we do different? We'll be like them. Oh, yeah. All the things that <laughs> yeah. they just went away from. <laughs> well, in, in, in Apple's defense, I don't think they're trying to be like other people here. Yeah. They're, they're going back to what was successful, and they've realized that if they're going to put pro on the name of a laptop, they need to think about professionals. And So honestly, I would say I think that this is a good move by Apple, right? I think that uh, to, uh, to see them, people are complaining. They want these features. They were not getting these features. They kept running away from these features. And finally, they said, hey, I think we're making a problem here. It's We should listen to our customer base and give yep. the people what they want, and they did. That that to me says, okay, Apple, now now you're starting to to garner my attention. All right, so the the MagSafe adapter is back. Okay, love That's it. That's good. Everybody yes. loves that, oh, right? Yeah. Uh, you can get 32 and even 64 gigs of RAM in models. Ooh. Again, it not huh. it's something you can do on any other vendor, right? But, yeah, but right. No, Apple but, allows you. To, so, uh, so there's that. Still got that sweet touch bar, right? 
Touch Bar is gone. What? Oh, They've heck removed yes. the Touch Fuck. Bar, which Touch Bar totally sucked. So my, my last MacBook, right, we made sure I do not want the one yeah, with the Touch yeah. Bar on it. And it added $300 to the price of the laptop to for something that you weren't even going to use. Yeah. So so that's gone. So really, I, I think the, the way they should have named this event should have been, we fixed our mess ups. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. and so now they've returned to basically the MacBook from five years ago. Right. But, but with better specs. It does have the new M1 Pro or M1 Max processors, nice. which are really fast. Uh, the extra memory. It is unified memory. Mm-hmm. So your video, uh, like if you allocate six gigabytes of video RAM, that's coming out of your regular memory. Oh, okay. um, so there is that. But, uh, but I, I think it's actually a really solid entry in their, their laptop environment. And it's something they shouldn't have changed five years ago so now it's kind of like going back in time i mean what it what why why was my big complaints right they took away all my ports they yep. made it right mm-hmm. it was it was not, not a good of a, as a driving experience as what it used to be and that's why i'm on a lenovo now but now i wish i'd have done a budgetary yeah. item but so what am i gonna do so my big question <laughs> then is what do i do with this piece of crap you gave me like two months ago uh sucks for you Touch yeah. more. three years from now come to me yeah and we'll uh <laughs> and you'll have the you know it'll be the current gen you'll you'll be on the bleeding edge I'll be g- when they go back to no ports again. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's oh, true that's can i get somebody's refurb <laughs> thank you so much apple yeah. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.